Welcome to the show that keeps it 100, serves and spills, spills tea just how you like it. We dissect and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Ife Oluwa Oshunke. With me are Ife Omai and man like Miles. Hello. What's good? We Hi. good. How you guys doing, man? Friday, Friday feeling. Friday. It feels so good, it right? It feels good. My feels Friday good. started since yesterday, so me, I've been turning up. You feel me? I, I couldn't turn up yesterday. I had to mm. be here today now. Uh, look, it doesn't stop now. anything. Uh. That happened to me like two, we're, days, we're two days ago. That's mm. why I was like, oh, yesterday. Aww. Aha. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, we didn't even <laughs> notice. Ah, okay, so that's today we're expecting yeah, today, double yeah. trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good today. Oh, I'm oh. good. But we, we were born ready. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but turn up and walk. Yes, I'm going through a lot, naturally. <laughs> How are you guys doing, though? What's the plan for the weekend? What are we doing? Um, I'm, I think I'm going to be on the island this weekend. I live on the mainland, but this weekend I'm going to be on the island and turn, oh, yeah? up, turn up dirty. Mm. Oh yeah? Like, when you said dirty, it was dirty. Shades, baba, all shades, just think about it and that's it. Mm. All shades. Mm. Ladies, be careful. Be careful out there. Yeah, how do you know it has anything to do with ladies? Ah. Ah. Okay, maybe it's a guy. I don't know, we don't know. Mm. Okay, it's cool. Moving on. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Put CCTV on you. <laughs> what um, about you, Fe? I Any have plans? my high school set. There are three people getting married on Saturday. Wow. Yeah, that's intense. So I'm going to try and see if I can turn up for everyone. For mm. everyone? Yeah. I'll try and make all three. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no pressure, though, but when right. are we going to turn up for you too? Mm. I don't, when I don't to have that God when. Uh, God when. Because you say your high school said that's like yeah, so, so recent. I know. Three, <laughs> I've never seen it with three people in the same day. Yeah. So. That's gonna be that's, that's good cool. stuff. Shout out to all of them, Ladi, Muiwa, and Inem. So I'll uh, see you guys this weekend. Yeah, it felt be there. You might just be, it felt be there for all of mm, us. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. catch the book here or something like. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Oh my I God. think we've gone past that. But let's see. <laughs> Anyways, true that. So let's get straight to the agenda of the day, right? Absolutely. So we can get back to turn up, right? Mm -hmm. Are you guys in a Are you guys in a hurry? To turn up, yeah. You know how it's turned This up. one isn't. This one is his body's here, but like, <laughs> his soul, soul is out. It's somewhere else. But don't worry, we're still going to deliver, you know, quality premium stuff for you guys. So just stick with us and enjoy the stories we got for you guys today. So, Nollywood actress Foluke Daramola has been dragged for allegedly diverting funds that were meant for veteran Nollywood stars to her own pocket. According to an Instagram user who left a comment on a post, philanthropists and renowned investors had contributed to a foundation to aid Nollywood agent stars during the COVID-19 lockdown period, but she decided to hurt it since then. In the words of the social media user identified, of, uh, identified as original Ayo, I have just read a post on the, put another tag, and the post didn't portray you in a good light, and it also kept me wondering what you have been doing with funds meant to help the needy within the Yoruba industry. If you don't want to be um, okay, if you don't want to, in other words, if you shall don't want to do well in life, uh, you also don't want trailer to jam, okay, no, you shall don't want bad things to happen to you. You better make sure you are not, you better make sure you are not spending those funds on your, okay, so a lot of unprintable words, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> we can't, so you guys can go back and read the post. Um, so Isha went on and on and on and on telling her about all the things that could happen to her if she doesn't put the money in the appropriate quarters, yes. So you shall get it. <laughs> because this type of post got me saying Isha, 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 like, mm. yeah. you have to, you have to uh, edit that. Yeah, you shall get it. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I understand her, her plight. I think it's one of the meanest things that you can do to the industry, in mm. my opinion. Um, you know, when you're actively working, it's different. You can complain about the economy, you can complain about how, like, we're not getting paid well, but you're young and you can work, right? So there's always a means to survive. Mm. But this is for people who don't have that anymore, who've paid their dues long time ago, mm. served and everything, mm. and now need um, to rely on pensions and, you know, packages like this. So I think it's the worst kind of thing to do. It's like the mm. worst kind of pl um, place or... And yeah, of, of place of money, um, source of income to steal from and stuff. So I, I understand her anger. Mm. I think that is very much um, understandable. Um, yes, exactly. I don't, I don't think it's too much or whatever. Because I saw some comments saying, ah, is it, is it that bad? But she doesn't need to say that for this kind of things to actually happen to you because it's horrible stuff. But I, and I like that she called the person out as well mm -hmm. with the 
Because yeah. sometimes I've, I get irritated when people want to start. So it wasn't me. one um, Nollywood actress, you know. Yeah, she came like out say directly. the name. Yeah. Let's know who you're talking to. Let's keep the, the righteous anger righteous, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping that there is a follow up to this story. I think this story mm -hmm. for me is more than just banter. Like, I want to know what the money is, you know, has gone to. And I hope that the people who can actually do something about it are on top of this matter and they're trying to get the funds out of this lady's pocket and back mm. to the people that actually actually need it yeah all right so how about you mouse what's your take okay so i read i read the posts mm. and reading that post again i was like this person wasn't even sure the mm. money was diverted into uh, for luka uh, daramola's account mm. and the, for luka daramola replied her or replied to the person saying um god thunder your all those things mm. sha, that, we, uh, that you, sha. you couldn't share that mm, this is sha. my own hard-earned money i didn't take money from anybody i am helping these people from my pocket mm. so i don't know what you guys are talking about you guys don't even you don't know crap you just see stuff online and you just attack me mm. that every money that i've been spending on these so-called veterans it's directly from her pocket that it's not it doesn't belong to anybody so if anybody has claim according to her post that's for lucas reply if anybody uh, can prove it mm. that she's been hoarding money and and i'm glad you took it from that angle because i spoke to for lucas damola this okay. morning and i told her that oh we'll like her to react she said no she's not going to react just yet because as soon as she wants to react she wants to come out receipts she wants to show you that everything she's been doing has been from our personal funding and oh, nobody yeah. has given her and she said the money that is claimed that is in her account is still there and it hasn't been touched because they are looking for the best way to help these people and not run off and start making moves and then this one comes out tomorrow and say they gave you more, you know, help all of us. Yeah, Do you understand? Who is the money from now? Is the money from her pocket or from other She people? runs an NGO. She runs an NGO. So how now, that her hand money if it's No, that's to different. Now, what she's talking about, the things she has been doing personally for other people and personally for herself she's been using her hard-earned money for all of that so people are beginning to think oh if we look at that Amola, for instance buys lace tomorrow they will say oh, oh it's, it's the money, money from money. the ngo that NGO. used to buy it do you understand what i mean and mm. she's saying that no that hasn't been the case i'm spending my money and the alleged money that you guys are talking about wow. is still in the account and it doesn't even cover a lot look if i even run do an understand? ngo and some investor some good person decides like you know oh miles we love what you're doing have xyz doesn't mean that doesn't mean it belongs to one person or no it depends no, on it, it depends depend on, on how on i give you they yes donated if i say if i give it to you say miles i think you've done a good job this money go and take care of yourself that's okay. very different but if i say oh miles i believe in your ngo work and i think what you're doing is really meaningful it here's a contribution to your work i don't think that's for you to go and buy mm. this okay when your when your leaders kept palliatives in the warehouse of Anna, you people yeah, not but, 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 but should we be them yeah and then should we now then make them two wrongs like two wrongs don't necessarily make a right, and if that's what you're doing, we call out the um, we call out the the thieves that are governing when we when we see receipts, mm -hmm. and we'll call this one out too as well. So I like that she responded that way because honestly speaking, that's the only thing that will convince me otherwise sure. at this moment because I know <laughs> I know in the NGO department they still like mad. That's true. Like that's mad. True. Um, because it's crazy. A lot of so them all that anger, them. I get it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be on any accused thieves what side kind of, until kind of, i see kind of receipts kind of so mm, they begin to scam Remind, thank you for telling us why we should never <laughs> do your NGO <laughs> when you start one. Anyways, let's move on, guys, because all of this is still alleged on you. And right. hopefully we'll have for Luke Darmola on the show on Monday where she can actually give us receipts and actually shed more light on what Absolutely. has happened. For now, it is just an allegation. And if that's the case, then we need an apology from every slanderer. Original well. Ayo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's move on. So Grammy Award winner Whiskey Balogun opens up on hard on how hard the life of a celebrity can be on him despite wanting to be normal like everyone else. In a, in a series of Insta story posts, Whiskey emphasized the challenges he faces trying to be normal even though he's aware that it cannot happen as a um, that it cannot happen. As a consolation, Whiskey hinted at going back to the chatting phone on Twitter after taking a short break from the microblogging platform for personal reasons. So, um, what's your take on this story? Because this story is kind of like Whiskey is catching cruise. It's ca it's and people are talking about it. It's catching cruise. Like it's just. But you, you hardly know. find Whiskey online saying crap. You hardly. He's he just ignores stuff. So do you think it's it's it's, it's, point, it's letting us know about his state of mind? Is yes, I, I I think so moment. because look, being being there in that light, it's really really not. Even you guys, you gonna see crazy. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure sometimes <laughs> you're going like like ha and like ah, fair bad, and you're like. Oh, God. 
can I just mm. can I just have my peace, right? So I can imagine how he feels like I can't yeah. even have a decent meal with my friends or family without cameras all over the place. So yeah. Yeah, I mean that happened to me. Yesterday. And the sense of entitlement as well. Yeah. What happened to you? I wanted to get a fan, like a standing fan, and as soon as I got there, obviously me when I want to buy something, I have to like ah please oh did 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 did. And then the owner now walks in and says, ah, it's not you. I'm like, uh, uh -huh. I don't know. Say now, tea time. I'm like, uh. So all the negotiations I've been trying to do, psh, oh, out the window. The no, you, can, you have to act down rich. The drain, right? No, no, uh, I, mean, I wasn't acting rich. I was insisting on my drop it by 5K, whatever. But he right, was then like, they would be no. looking at you like, ah, I owe like, you. Nah, I this owe is packaging. You. Like, no, you can afford it. We're not giving you any... Um, this amount, le um, you know, less than this amount. Da, 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 da. But I, I think there's a time on the on this table we're having a conversation, and I think it was about trolls or something. And he said that some people are already used to it, and I don't know who we were talking to now, and I don't know if it was who. I don't remember who mentioned what, but I remember somebody saying, "Oh yeah, even whiskey will be used to that." And then we're like, "Nobody is used to." Um, I'm sure. I think this I was kind of one who said that. That I think he has a thicker skin than a lot yeah, of other celebrities. Yeah, I know that that, that that stuff is is uh, is BS. I think every single human being has a, mm. uh, a soft spot or like an a, a Achilles heel. Like, mm. yeah, like for me now, you can say a lot of things. You can call me this name, that name, that name. And I probably would just be fine, like whatever, mm. hater. But there are some particular things that you can say, depending on how much you know me as well, mm. that you can just hit that spot. So, um, and whether or not you're thick, your skin is thick for other things, everybody has that one thing. So, um, and trolls are very good. They touch every aspect of your life. Mm. They go from your physical to your personal, to your to history your and past and future. So, you know, I know that, that that's going to be hard. But I've, I've personally noticed that Whiskey doesn't necessarily engage that much in the celebrity um, uh, what's it called? No, Showbiz no. life as much. Like he's not, he, he's not performing with his personal life. Just he's not his music. Playing to the galleries. Just yeah, because I know people do that. People actually interact with that kind of buzz. And Whiskey seems to be the kind of person that I've noticed for a, for a very long time. Like when I was away, like I wasn't in the country, and because I, I, I loved Whiskey, I only, I only became this David O thing. Like when I moved back to Nigeria. But even abroad, I'm like, oh, I want to know more about Whiskey. I want to know what he's doing. And it was hard to find anything, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. All he gave me was his music. With Davido, mm -hmm. I could just go on a blog and I'll see everything. Like, see everything where he yeah. went to eat and what happened there. And somebody did this and this person did that and this person did this. You know, so I think Whiskey has had a very, like, intense, um, um, in, uh, intense attitude towards how he interacts. So for me, this looked, this fits the category of the, the impression that he's given me. That he doesn't actually like to interact with that because it's a lot. Um, but does he does he now want to go back to, to Twitter like he's saying? I think he can, but I still feel like he's not going to be... He just looks like the kind of person that it doesn't really enjoy mm. that internet, public, um, yeah, life. So I don't think we would... Because when I read it, I thought, oh, I'm going to see Whiskey's personality. is going to be everywhere doing lives, but I don't, I don't think so. All right. What's your take on this one? I, I just... He just had his take. No, I know. Like, as from what she just said, do you oh. think Whiskey is that type of person? What type of person? That doesn't like the showbiz lifestyle, you know, likes to keep his uh, life private. Do, well, do yeah, I think, I think he's a private person. I think he just wants to do his music and get on with his life. You, you will hardly find Whiskey doing a Kanye West yeah, or yeah. a David o or doing a Peruzzi online. He's mm. just there like, oh, just say one line and he's gone. Mm. Or if you attack, he might not even, might not even mm. reply. Yeah. So do you think he's developed a thicker skin compared to all the celebrities? You don't see him reacting. You know when they're talking about his baby mama's calling him out mm. and being a dead He could be crying in his house, who knows? That. Do you know, he could... But, like, but yes, I mean, for the internet, you know, playing to the uh, gallery of social he, media... I think he's just, he's just you know, learned how to perfect, not, do, not replying or not responding. Just yeah. like, let me just separate this from my, from my music, my music yeah. from my, my personal life. But let's face it as well. Right. You know, there are some days that you wake up and you just pray to God. You're like, oh, I have a feeling that today's going to be, be good, good tonight. But right. yeah, today, you just, you know, you, you're in the bathroom, you're taking a shower, you're singing, you're happy, right. and you just get on the road, one driver will jam you left. How can you be sane? The police stops you, wants uh. to do stop and search very early in the morning, and you're wondering, mm. where could I have been coming from? You get to some places, you're about to buy food, customer service is terrible, mm. and then your day just gets ruined even before it's noon. Mm. Do you understand? Like... So I get where it's coming from, like the days you just want to be sane, but man, you wake up and you see crazy. Mm. Everybody is moving. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Do you remember so that video of David saying, um, 
the two giveaways we made. Yeah, from last year to here. Wow, man, even myself. <laughs> so I just think the world, the world is just a place where I think we need to take one step at a time. You know, sometimes just take a deep breath if you can. But if you can't, please let it go. Yeah. You understand? That's how I see it. And you can take your yeah. breaks off social media. It's, it's very easy. Yes, yes which is why we, we're not psychologists. People. But at the same time, I don't think, you know, we skid. If it was a mental state of mind thing that is, it was you know his mental health was being affected. I don't think Twitter is the first place to jump back to oh. because right there you're gonna get affected even Kanye, more. Kanye does that a lot. Yeah, people Kanye, actually do. A that lot of people lot. do that. To go and vent, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Rem, did one That's recently. why I didn't. Un I don't understand the people on Twitter that say, "Oh, your your family, somebody you've lost someone." And first place you go to is Twitter. Mm. Like it's the easiest place to go to actually and because vent. I'm not talking to you in. In person, mm. I'm not really caring for the attention. I just want to be able to let that out, out. and mm. that's the most beautiful thing about social media mm. is that I can do that. Sometimes mm. I don't want to tell anybody anything personally. Mm. I just want to be able to type it out and just let it be. And let the people that care reach out to you if they want to. If they want to, yeah. Exactly. So uh, I, I, I feel like there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with him doing that. But I think it's also a personality thing. I remember um, the fight between him, Burner Boy, David, all of them were in the same club, and da da da. I mean, him just standing there, like drinking his his drink or whatever yeah. that's how he is even with twitter it's like he just seems like somebody that doesn't have too much and there's a lot of people like that they have no energy for a lot of things Drama. it has to be like mm. really important Extreme. stuff yeah. or like you know I, I like it feels like he wants to control his space and control where he puts his energy to some people are a lot more intentional about that than others and i think it's right. like that all right anyway it's tea time we'll be right back but we'll be going on a quick music break enjoy <laughs> 